Welcome to Where's the Action? I'm your host, Ross Benjamin. I will be previewing tonight's NHL contest between the Los Angeles Kings and the Calgary Flames. A game that will take place at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, with the opening face-off 9.35 p.m. Eastern Time. Currently, as we speak, the LA Kings are a minus 130 money line road favorite, and the posted total in this game is five. These two clubs have seen just four of their last 21 meetings go over the total, and the LA Kings have won the last four between these clubs played at Calgary. While the Calgary Flames will be playing their first game since the Olympic break, and they're hoping to pick up right where they left off. Although Calgary has struggled this season and are currently 13 points out of a potential playoff spot in the Western Conference, this is a team that went 6-2 and two in their last eight games prior to the Olympic break, and the Flames also have won their last five in a row at home. Calgary, interestingly enough, will be starting a first-time ever starter tonight in the NHL, making his first ever appearance and start will be Onio Ortillo. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. If I'm not, I apologize. Ortillo appeared in 28 games for the Flames AHL affiliate in Abbotsford and was stellar with a 2.22 goals against average, two shutouts, and a very good .928 save percentage. Talk about a feel-good story. Ortillo started the season in the ECHL with Alaska, and in four starts with the Alaska Aces, he posted a tremendous 1.01 goals against average, a .948 save percentage, and had two shutouts in those four starts. So he's earned his opportunity to play in the NHL, and he'll make his debut tonight versus the Los Angeles Kings. Speaking of the Kings, they come off a momentum-building win last night at Colorado. The Kings trailed in that game 4-2 late in the second period and responded by with four unanswered goals to come away with a 6-4 win. It was a confidence-building win in a couple respects. It was just the third win in the last 16 road games for Los Angeles. In addition, prior to the Olympic break, the Kings had scored one goal or less in seven of their eight previous games during regulation time. They've had a difficult time scoring over their last 20 games. However, they've overcompensated for that with their stellar defensive play as the Kings currently allow just 2.1 goals per game, which is best in the NHL. And they've also shut out the opposition on nine separate occasions this year, which is also best in the NHL. As far as my selection goes in this game, I'm sure the general public will be swayed tonight by Los Angeles' six-goal outburst last night at Colorado, in addition to beating a quality Colorado Avalanche team on the road. However, this is a Calgary Flame team that's well-rested. They'll be playing a team that's playing with no rest. And by the way, the Kings are 0-4 in their last four playing with no rest and the Calgary Flames have won their last five in a row at home, as I alluded to earlier. I'm going to take a chance here, give a slight nod to the home underdog, Calgary Flames, plus 110 over the Los Angeles Kings this evening. My name is Ross Benjamin. You've been watching Where's the Action? Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to go to sbrforum.com to read all my articles, and you can visit me at my personal website, www.rvwins.com. Have a fan.